This old place may hold the most promise. Something I... Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Oh, a prospective initiate. The Knight Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? Didn't even have to think about it, did you? Let me give you a quick rundown of the mission before we start. Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Any questions before we start? Order. All right, fire away. Ideally? Yes, actually. In practice? Not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. Can I do it? Yes. But it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. I... <laughs> Night Shin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Business only. Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well, and I'll be happy to vouch for you. I have my eye on you. Not as a civilian. However, if Paladin Romani lets you join our ranks, then I might reconsider. Especially if you're a big help on this mission. Sure. Ready to go? Great! Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Oh, that's so much to teach Staying us. safe out there. Do you want to play the Armor Ace board game with me? Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Isn't that cool? Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders and our mother was killed. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Paladin Romani had us come along with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. They're heroes! The Brotherhood is gonna save humanity and help make the world a better place. They saved my sister and me and a bunch of other people along the way. 
Plus, the power armor they get to wear is so cool! Oh yeah! It's a lot of fun living in the Brotherhood of Steel base. I kinda wish there were more kids my age to play with, but it's okay. The less distractions from my training, the better. I'm gonna become the best Brotherhood of Steel member that Paladin Romani has ever seen. Whatever you want. It's fun talking with you. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm gonna try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them. And I'm so happy that she did. No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Oh, absolutely! She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real-life hero. Okay. Knight Shin is super cool. Have you seen his power armor? He doesn't really talk to me much, but I, I think it's just because he's super busy doing brotherhood stuff and fighting bad guys. Plus, he's usually hanging out by the weapons, and I'm not allowed to go near there. I think we're going to be best friends one day, though. I want to know all about the Brotherhood of Steel. Things will be different now with Kagan's here to have fun. Uh, are you even what? To no, here? he's just busy. Saving the world is hard work. Someone in the Brotherhood can't be a jerk. They're literally the good guys. Okay. Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm gonna study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide and seek around the fort. Nah, I wanna be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. If I was to be a scribe, though, I would want to be just like Odessa. She told me I could because we're friends. Just like how you can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although, when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. Okay. I hope I can see you again soon and we can play. me. I don't have anything to say to you or anyone else. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll keep that in mind if I ever feel up to it. No meat approved. Or if it didn't deserve pie with every dinner declined. This rash request doesn't even have a name. Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? 
I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. Hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. This looks like what we need. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. I guess you're right. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. I did ask you to help, after all. 
It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? The diagnostics test can tell us the state of some key components that we won't be able to test manually. Keep an eye on the state of each component and we'll want to look into them after the initial check. The release valve is an emergency mechanism that can relieve pressure on the intake pipes if they come under stress. If all is well, we'll just be able to turn it and nothing out of the ordinary will happen. Think of the wires like the blood vessels of the machine. Without the electricity running through them, nothing's going to work. We just need to do a little checkup and see what condition they're in. Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after. Looks like we've got company! Let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop, intake valves ruptured, and the ion focus? Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Yep. 
Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay, well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well, so far. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? If you can, you earn my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? You saw what happened when we tested the release valve. I want to examine the stress on the gauge. That could tell us if all that built up pressure was normal or an anomaly. Oh, and you may have to pry it off, but be careful about it when the time comes. The brain of the machine. It's the component that coordinates all of the others. It should be slotted into a terminal somewhere. May take a little technical know-how to extract, but Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. A very important and technical component. It helps force particles into a beam that the machine could fire to affect the weather. Somehow. Could take a bit of manual dexterity to pry loose without any damage. I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do.
Oh, I thought of one. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine coil? Doesn't sound good. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this ultrasight? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but... To think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate. And soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but... 
My wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin.